My name is Dr. Daniel Cameron. I'm an internist and an epidemiologist. That means I trained, uh, have a degree in medicine from the University of Minnesota, but I also have a master's degree in the School of Public Health in Minnesota in the field of epidemiology. Epidemiology study epidemics. Most epidemics tend to be acute, like viral type things. In my case, I'm very involved in the chronic disease epidemiology, chronic illness related. I practice in Mount Kisco, New York. I've been practicing since 1987. Again and again, I would see more and more people who had Lyme disease who weren't getting better. They had the standard 21, 30 days of treatment and, and they stayed sick. And it can mess up the fatigue, the headaches, joint pains, uh, concentration. So they're trying to go to school, they're trying to work, they're trying to be in, in their family and it, it's just a challenge to try to get somebody better who's been sick for a while. More on the one-on-one -on -one experience with taking care of somebody who's had Lyme disease who doesn't get better in 21 days. It's nice when they get better, it's nice when it's um, when 21 days works, but there's so many people, in fact a third of people in studies are still sick a year later. But to take someone who's been sick for a year and come up with just a different antibiotic or look at Babesia, which is a parasite that can cause uh, someone to remain sick. Take those types of treatments and uh, really make a difference. And so that one-on-one -on -one relationship that being a doctor allows me to be, uh, I can be a different, make a difference in that person's life. Get somebody better who might have got caught up with just treating the symptoms. That this fibromyalgia dead end where they can just treat the pain, we look again a second time and find that if a tick-borne illness is there, you can get at the whole underlying illness. The research that's out there that clearly supports treatment has been around, it's been around since 1990. You know, I was very excited about the kind of research that was available. It's just that now, um, 23 years later, the most important issues uh, are not being recognized. Doctors are still overlooking it. Doctors are still saying it's not important. But this type of person who has fatigue, poor concentration, poor memory, lightheadedness, dizziness, irritability, numbness in their hands and feet, that person that you might see, they just have a tick-borne illness. And it's uh, so important to really get on with them um, the knowledge as a doctor, recognize those types of patients and uh, treat those for tick-borne illness.